Back in 2013, when I had purchased a house, I found out that it had some bats in the attic. And while I was working on one of the floors, I found out that there was a bat or bed bug. At the time, I didn't even know that bat bugs existed. I had heard of bed bugs, and I recognized one that was walking around nearby. And I crushed it, which was kind of stupid because I didn't have any specimen to further analyze after crushing it with a hammer. I used dry ice traps, and I just set them on some upside down food bowls and sprinkled some talc powder around the inside so that they could crawl up the outside, which had some paper towel taped around it and then once they reached the inside they couldn't get back out and after I had set these traps I did manage to get one specimen which I preserved in some alcohol and took home then I looked at it under a microscope to attempt to identify what it was and I found out that it was actually a bat bug not a bed bug the difference is that bat bugs evolved to feed on birds and bats and bed bugs evolved to feed on humans and probably other mammals, I would guess. And the way to identify them is by the length of the hair in comparison to the eye. You may wonder what the value in knowing if it's a bat bug, bed bug is, and I would say that the value is knowing that the infestation was not exactly in the house, it was in the attic. So what I ended up doing was actually waiting until nighttime when the bats exited the attic, which I had found only two, but I did find evidence of a much larger colony at some point, and also a can of insecticide in the attic. So what I did was I screened off the gables to prevent them from re-entering, which did work. Then I treated the attic with diatomaceous earth, which is a kind of silica compound made out of microorganisms, which is well known as an effective bat bug and bed bug treatment. And that sorted out the issue, really. I used a HEPA shop vac filter and an N95 particle mask, and I vacuumed up all the guano in the attic, and between those two things, it completely cleared out the issue. At the time, we weren't living in the house. It was still under heavy remodeling construction, which I was doing whenever I had some spare time, so it was not a big deal to get rid of them, but I can imagine that if you were still living in the house, it could be much more unnerving. I hope that was helpful for anybody who might be having issues or might be purchasing a house that had some bats in the attic or still has some bats in the attic. One thing to note is that you should absolutely not attempt to confront the bats. Bats can carry rabies and you will need to get a rabies shot if you get bit. Thanks for watching.